Hello everybody, and welcome to Flog Plays Gone Home. This is a very interesting little indie game. Um, it's more of an exploratory type thing, uh, and the setting is basically in a house. But it's more what you find along the way, and the story that very much intrigues me about this game. Uh, I haven't played too far into it. I'm going to go ahead and start a new game so that way you guys don't miss anything. But I really wanted to share this game with you guys. Uh, it's a game that I've kind of had for a while, kind of forgot about and didn't play. And now I kind of regret that because of the fact that this is a fantastic little game. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and hit new game. And we're going to start a new game. Yes, I am sure. All right. Look around using the mouse. All right. And we'll do this thing. Now, I might have to mess with the audio just a touch so that you guys can hear everything. I want to make sure that you guys hear everything in the game uh, so that, yeah. So, but uh, I, I've, I've kind of wanted to play this for a while and so figured why not share it with you guys. And plus, I love the Fulbright Company. They're, they're a really, really cool game. Hi, Mom. Uh, so I got my ticket Designer. home from Europe. I get back on June 6th, but it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest, so it gets in at midnight. But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. Like, really seriously, you don't have to. Okay, so, love you. See you soon. Bye. Alright. So, basically, you play a girl who's coming home from... Uh, something and you basically get home and you're uh, n nobody's home so you kind of have to figure out what's going on and everything from there so but this is also another little fantastic game and stuff like that you can kind of look at stuff my name is Caitlin Greenbrier and this is based apparently in Portland in 95 so god I can't remember how old I was all right, so let's see. Hold right mouse or left shift to look closer. Okay. Katie, I'm sorry I can't be there to see you, but it is impossible. Please, please don't go digging around trying to find out where I am. I don't want anyone to know. We'll see each other again someday. Don't be worried. I love you, Sam. All right. Oh. Okay, so the door is locked, so i got to figure out my way in. Now, the really cool about, thing about this game is that I can kind of, like, literally, like, pick everything up and just kind of throw it around and stuff like that. But, uh, okay, grab the Christmas duck. Oh, okay. There we go. Take the house key. All right, the house key is added to my backpack. Unlock the door. Press 1 or I. So, if I hit 1... Okay, so I can see I have a key. I have an old boarding pass uh, with a transfer in Cincinnati. I mean, I live in Ohio, so that's kind of interesting. And there's my passport. Okay, I, I, I went on a trip to Europe. That's what's going on. Okay, so that is me. I am Caitlin Greenbrier. Spare key. Let's see. I have a little bit of a map. I do not have anything about the journal, so I'm going to go ahead and just enter the house. All right. Oh, dear Katie, so much has changed, even just since you've been away. We moved into this house. I'm at a new school, and my big sister being gone for a year doesn't make it any easier. It doesn't feel real, but I'm not gonna let it phase me. I used to tell you everything, and if I can't do it in person, because you're off gallivanting around who knows where, I'll tell it to this journal. Just like I was talking to you. Awesome. Salmon Magazine. Stephen King! It's Author Magazine! The blank page, how 10... Okay, interesting. I'm kind of looking around in here. Okay, so that was uh, Sam. That was my little sister, apparently. And stuff like that. I might turn the lights on to make sure that I... Okay, so basically they just moved into this house, it looks like. And everything, and... It'd be really nice if I could... I'll just go ahead and close the door. I don't need to keep the door open and everything, so I'll go into some of these rooms. 
Okay, that is a closet. Okay, let's do the pull string. Okay, what's this? Okay, so that's Janice Greenbrier. That must be my mother. She works for the Forestry Service, it looks like. And that must be Sam's jacket. That's the Goodfellow High School. Alright, so is there anything in here that I need? Am I just kind of looking around in here and not grab board game? Over the Alps. Okay, well, okay, I'll just go ahead and open the door again. Close the door. Whoop, close the door. Close the door. There we go. No, okay, whatever. Um, alright, so I'll go ahead and on. Ooh. <laughs> That's awesome. A little sugar skull. Hecho in Mexico. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and put that back. Alright, so we're. Alright, it's locked. That kind of startled me a little bit. Can we turn on the light? Yeah, we can turn on the light. Okay. So I'm going to turn on the lights and stuff like that to make sure that I know where I'm going. But uh, we're basically just going to investigate and see what's going on. See if I can't find any information. Read itinerary. All right. Katie's departure. Okay, so it looks like they were planning my return at some point. All right. Anything in here? Any messages on the machine? Alright, let's go ahead and put that back. Sam. Sam. Hello. Sam. Alright. Sam, where are you? Really? Talk to you. Please be there. Is that Sam? Hi, Mom. Uh, so I got my ticket home from Europe. Oh, that's me. Alright, so that's Sam. That's me. Uh, wait. Yeah, that's me. And then that would be my mom and dad, Terry. Okay. Alright, so that was kind of an interesting little thing. Got a note here. It says, Sam, Daniel from the old neighborhood called. He wants to come to the, the, to see the new house. Call him back. Mom, Daniel is a total weirdo. The only reason I ever hung out with him in the first place was because he had an Nintendo when we were little. Yeah. Did you hear that? Okay, I, I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure that this isn't supposed to be a horror game, but okay. Okay, so there's one of the postcards. Hey, Mom, Dad, and Sam, I'm in Paris. I've done many Parisian things, including eating Le Petit Dungeonaire and wearing a beret. I'm going to have lots of film to develop when I get back. Sam, I'm bringing back something from the Shakespeare Book Company since you are my favorite sister. Love you all, Katie. Alright. Interesting. Well, okay, I'll just toss that right on the ground and not care. Oh, what we got here? Welcome, new studio. We hope that you're excited. Okay, so it's basically just a list of things that you need to have for school. Oh my god. You are so lucky you finished high school before we moved into this house. So, it's the first day of school, and there I am, introducing myself to the class. And I say that I just moved into the house on Arbor Hill. All of a sudden, every kid in the room turns and just stares like I suddenly transformed into a mutant. They just stood there, pushing pretty hard for a rewind button. Because now maybe nobody knows my name, but they all know who I am. The Psycho House Girl. <sighs> Great. Interesting. All right, so I got a, I got a. There's a photo there, but I'm pretty sure that's not my sister. So I don't know who that is. That's Desoto. It says, but there's also an obituary in here. Oscar Mason, 60, of Boone County, died peacefully in his home last month. Uh, Mr. Mason was born in 1933 and quickly became a love figure in the decades passing. Stars and there's. Wait, Greenbrier? Okay, that's my last name, so this must be some sort of... Okay, so this guy must be the person that they inherited the house from, maybe? 
that would explain why all this stuff's going on. And did that say something about the Psycho House Girl? Which is great, because does that mean that this game is a horror game and I just didn't know about it? Okay. Please don't turn into a horror game. What's this? There's nothing in there? Nothing in there. Okay, let's open that. Let's open this. Nothing in there. Let's open this. Let's open this. Grab three ring binder. Is there anything in it? Alright, we'll go ahead and put that back. We got examine paper. Uh, okay. They say that a jack of all trades is a master of none. I have to disagree. Mastery is not the question of specialization, but surely is the purpose of dedication to your craft if you happen to be in the market. Okay, so I'm guessing that this is some sort of work or something, or maybe they're trying to sell that. Uh, or something. I don't really know. I, I'm kind of interested in finding that out. Oh, inner combination. I do not have the combination for that. Unless it's up there. You can do better. Chinese, Japanese, Lebanese. I just heard a creak. That scared me just a bit. Okay. So. I don't have, I don't have that code yet. Okay, what's this? Terrence Greenbrier, electrical inspection, wiring in the house is technically up to safety, okay, electrical system, highly destructive to the walls, okay, alright, so it looks like, uh, looks like they were having problems with the electricity, which is perfect, because that probably means that at some point in time, uh, everything's gonna suck, <laughs> Alright, so I have to find what looks like a... It looks like I have to find... I'm going to turn on the lights. Looks like I have to find a combination to get into that. Alright, what's this? Stranger Under My Roof. Uh, it's one of these teen health book... Or help books for, like, people. Okay, what's this? Open... Oh, 05... 0451. Okay, that must be it. Dear Terrence, David asked me to write you regarding your reviews. Okay, so my father writes reviews. Okay, so that would explain what I just found. Uh, home theater aficionado wants to hear about the quality and value of the hardware, not nomination, not ruminations of your childhood. Look through your old stuff and start submitting reviews like that again, and everybody will be happy. Okay, so basically, it looks like somebody was kind of upset with him. Uh, about his writing and stuff like that, but I just did I, 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 I did just get that code so 0451 Gotta make sure that I that just sounds terrifying. Uh, okay. Okay, so 0451 that's gonna be the code for this so let's see uh, oh, oh, Four Five One Oh. Awesome! Okay, read the document. Dear Mr. Mason, please find enclosed your original document and a typed copy for your records. The notarized copy has been filed at our offices. Thank you for entrusting our firm with this important matter. I, Oscar Mason, processing full competence. I declare my I am unmarried and have no children. I declare that no outstanding debts. I do hereby bequeath every item, including located over here. To my nephew, Terry. Okay, so this is this is the house that was uh, inherited by my father. It looks like uh, sort of predeceased me then, and in such a, to his children, I inscribe my name on this will. Oh, okay, that's interesting that they also give you what it looks like in cursive. All right, so now I understand that the that this was basically a inherited house and stuff like that. Oh god, I heard voices. I was like, oh shit. Oh, okay, it looks like we got a severe severe weather. For C or control to Okay. Okay, so it's uh, I'm just going to go ahead and turn that off. Uh, examine book. What does that say? Sam thought this might help making friends even when you Okay. 
Okay, well. You know that feeling where the first moment you see someone, it's like they have a big gold star around them, and you have to get to know them. Well, there's this girl. I think she's a senior. She's usually dressed kind of punk. But sometimes I see her in this, like, army uniform. And she's always drawing in this notebook, looking so intense. I had no idea how I would ever, like, have an excuse to talk to her. Till I noticed she and her friends hang out and play Street Fighter at the 7-Eleven every day after nice. school. <laughs> oh, cool. We got a little bit of hauntings and poltergeist, huh? Okay, so we we have a little bit of a budding friendship there, and that's always nice to hear. Uh, this is the reason why I wanted to play this game, was because it was just a fantastic looking thing. Uh, Terry, hey man, how you been? I know you're a published author and everything, but my editor, Hi-Fi Aficionado, looking for another freelancer. So it looks like he had uh, another... Okay. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So it's that book dad wrote the accidental savior interesting interesting he writes books too apparently grab cassette okay okay that sounds familiar Oh, okay, now that might be that I that actually might be copyrighted material and stuff like that. But that sounded like Bratmobile, maybe or something. I used to listen to a lot of punk music and stuff like that. Well, I mean, I still do, but I uh, uh, I used to listen to a lot more punk music, and that definitely sounded like something close to Bratmobile or something. Maybe I didn't know that they'd have that kind of music in here. That's kind of interesting. Hi, Terry. Enclosed find a. Oh, okay, so he could. Uh, see, that's what I've always kind of wanted to do. I want to review stuff like that and get free stuff. That's awesome. All right, so read story. The what did I say? The heaven at the edge of the world. Samantha Greenbrier, Grade Two story. The Turtle People, Part One. Captain Allegra looked off to the ocean. It went on forever. Oh, so it seemed. Someday she would find the edge and get to the paradise there. Then she heard a cannon fire. Boom! Michael Bay! No, I'm just kidding. It was the black pirate ship, she yelled. Uh, or, no, it was the black pirate ship. She yelled, I thought we lost them at Horse Island, the first mate said. Looks like you thought too soon. The black ship came up along the side. Captain Black himself came out on the deck of the black ship. He yelled to the captain, Allegra, You're never gonna find the edge. There ain't no paradise, and your father were a liar. Captain Allegra yelled back, Then why do you keep following us, you imbecile? The first mate yelled out, We'll stop you, Captain Black. We'll find the edge of the world, and you'll see her father was no liar. The battle kept going until Captain Allegra's ship got away. Now west, she said, and the ship sailed on towards the sunset. That's a nice little story. I like it. Reminds me of the stuff I used to write when I was a kid. What we got in there? Nothing in there. There's a TV listing. Looks like somebody wanted to watch the X-Files. And I believe that Daijiling would be happy about that because she was more of the X-Files fan than I was. Stuff like that. So what we've learned so far is that Samantha had a little bit of a budding relationship. Maybe maybe a little friendship and stuff like that with a girl and stuff. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so we got a forestry manual. That would make sense since her mother is a bunch of coupons. Uh, her mother is not a bunch of coupons, but she is... It uh, looks like she works for the forestry department and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool. Awesome. Okay. So, I'm going to keep exploring this house, though, and stuff like that, but I'm going to go ahead and have to stop it here because I hit the 20-minute mark. But uh, my, but this has been Flog playing... Uh, this is... Okay, I, I'm getting distracted. This has been Flog... That is a lot of records! Holy crap! But uh, this has been Flog playing Gone Home. I hope you guys are going to be enjoying this series because I'm going to keep playing it 
regardless, really. But <laughs> but I really love this game. I really want to keep playing it and stuff like that. So remember, we're also doing the charity thing for uh, all the way through November for the Brain and Behavior uh, Research Foundation. And also, you'll find links below to the Research Foundation's websites and stuff like that so that you guys can check it out, too. If you guys want to just donate directly, that's fine as well. As long as people get some awesome money, then that's awesome so that they can research things such as bipolar disorder, depression, and the like so that they can help people live better lives and, and such like that. But this has been Flog Playing Gone Home. Hit that like button, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you guys in a future video. Goodbye, everybody. Thank you very much for watching that video. Click in the upper left to subscribe and then check out Persona 3. Oh, but this is great. I wished also to become the samurai. Make sure you check us out on Google Plus and Twitter for all the new updates and the videos an hour early. Then check out the pale one. Uh, why? Why are you over there? Also, make sure you click on that Brain and Behavior logo so you can understand what the charity drive we're doing right now is. Thank you, and goodbye!